Champions do not become champions when they win. In hours, weeks, and months. Chemistry Fitness, in association with Gym and Motivation, presents Ringside Dreams. Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the second largest city in the country. Known as Canada's cultural capital, in this city, the cold winters remind us that the sport of hockey reigns supreme. Nevertheless, at the corner of Decarie and Ferrier lies a completely different environment. Here resides TriStar Gym, the mecca of MMA and boxing in Canada. Known as the home of champions, TriStar features some of the greatest fighters in the world. It is here where our story begins, where the dreams of a young amateur boxer will begin to unfold. Only 17 years old, and in his graduating year of high school, Emmanuel Elmaleh is considered a top five amateur boxer in the province of Quebec. In his short career, Emmanuel has quickly emerged from the bottom, seeking to create a name for himself. His quiet confidence, strong will, and uncommon discipline make Emmanuel a strong competitor. His coach, Nikolai Nikolov, once a 10-time provincial champion and ranked number one in Canada, knows a few things on what it will take for Emmanuel to reach that next level. To make it to the top, uh, definitely uh, it will take determination, um, it will take uh, more training, more endurance training, more uh, Power, you just it just has to be better. You know, he, he has it. He has to, but he has to dig deeper to get it. Because the higher the level, uh, people uh, they're not gonna just go down. They're not gonna just give a standing A to anybody. And uh, so he has to really commit more. And uh, at the same time, uh, just he, he just has to be better in, in, in every aspect. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of ups and downs, especially uh, with the training. You can have, you know, it happens where I have bad training days. You get, you know, emotional. It's... At its essence, boxing is a simple sport. Its routines and rhythms are steadfast and universal. Train alongside those who know you best. Learn from those who you trust the most. 
and respect the wisdom of those who have been there before. But most of all, it is important to sharpen your focus and embrace the brutal task that lies ahead. In Montreal, the brutality of winter's weather would seem like an obstacle for most. But for Emmanuel, it presents the opportunity to prove to himself how bad he wants to achieve his dreams. I really want to go to the Olympics, and I know it takes a lot, a lot of dedication and hard work and sacrifices and determination to make it there because it's a long, long way. I always like to succeed, and I always like to be, you know, different. Uh, I never want to conform to what all my other friends do. Sometimes I really don't want to train, you know, or I don't want to go for a run. My body is just tired, but I still, you know, I still force myself to do it because I know that when, um, when I'm slacking, then the other guys, the other guys train. People have achieved great things in life because they've, they've sacrificed who they were for what they wanted to be. More than in any other sport, boxers are products of place. Inevitably, where they come from often determines how they got into the ring. Manio is, doesn't like to talk much, you know, he's not through very social... Uh, I would say he's like a typical boxer. He's close there, he's in his bubble. If I don't really know you, it takes me a while to open up. And he's like this. So it's all good. Honestly, I, I think he's a, a typical up and coming boxer. He has that attitude that he can take on the world. Emmanuel's always been, even as a baby, somebody that was very mature. He is somebody that is determined when he puts his mind to do something, he'll definitely achieve. says, uh, I, I have my hands, so I'm not going to do it, or he, I don't feel good, so I'm not going to come. Both a servant to the ring and a student to the craft, Emmanuel understands that in order to become a master, studying hours of film is essential to developing that winning mindset. Like any his age, Emmanuel must focus on his academics to ensure a bright future outside of the ring. He definitely has a plan as to what he wants to do in the future. Next year he's going into college, he's going to CJEP, and after that he has his plan as to what he wants to study in university. It is the natural elements of uncertainty that hover over any fighter. During training, it is the tension of exercise that complements the foundation of the unknown.
What will happen in the ring? Who will prevail? Whose hand will be raised when it's all said and done? Those are the fundamental questions of a boxing match. Only seven days remain until his fight, and Emmanuel is now put to the test in a sparring match against a more experienced boxer. Most of his training complete, Emmanuel will use the last week to carefully diet and cut weight. The day has finally arrived. The clock begins to count down, and among all the nerves, Emmanuel seeks peace inside his room. So basically, he wakes up late, and he'll probably just have like his own meal, and then like he'll ba barely stay at work the whole day. Hard fights and hard roads to get where he is. You don't see him. Oh, you don't want to be living in the house with him the day of his fights, or even like the week prior to his fight. He becomes a lot more serious, a lot less sociable. Tired? Yeah. You know, he knows what he has to do that night, so, so the day leading up to it is he just has to like, focus and be serious that day. I'll take a nap maybe an hour before we leave. Angela? Yeah. Did you call me? No. Oh, I thought I was missing. Are you filming? Oh no, it's okay, nothing. Oh, you always tell him to come downstairs. Like, you know I'm sleeping. I didn't know you were sleeping. Or else I would have So just my door is just closed like that and... The door is always closed. And he's upstairs just on the computer and I don't know, I'm not sleeping. Oh, you're sleeping? Yeah. Okay, I'll just take a nap. 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 Okay, I Do I just come to your room like that? Okay, stop it, Emmanuel. No, I'm okay? serious. He okay. always does that. Walk into his room. Maybe you do that sometimes. Well, it's in the basement, so it's like the basement of the whole his room, so I don't know. Unable to take his regular nap, Emmanuel heads to the match, more tired than usual. The other guy pulled up because this coach wasn't going to be able to be there. Oh. I thought he pulled up like all the other ones. What's the problem with being that kind of a boxer? Yeah. What's the problem with finding guys to have a match against? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 A week prior to today's match, Emmanuel's original opponent unexpectedly pulled out, and a new fighter was set to meet him in the ring.
to add fuel to the fire. Just before weighing in, Emmanuel realized he forgot his boxing passport, a vital document necessary for the fight. Thankfully, after explaining the situation to an understanding ref, Emmanuel is allowed to weigh in and fight. The day of the fight is a lot of waiting, a lot of just, a lot of doing nothing, you know, just have to try to entertain yourself. Still two hours remaining till his fight, Emmanuel and his coach seek refuge away from the arena at a nearby Starbucks. You want to be calm and uh, not lose any, any adrenaline and any nerves. Psychologically, you want to be in a, in a calm environment so to prepare yourself for what's coming in a very uh, relaxed way. Often fighters, they fall asleep or they meditate. Sixty minutes until the opening bell sounds, and a fire, fed through weeks of training, ignites with a hellish flirt. Just try to relax. Try to kind of be on my, be by myself sometimes. Uh, try to stay in my zone. It definitely made nerves of steel uh, because it's a very much of a mind game. And often the fights are won by a psychological advantage. It's been said that in the ring, the truth will eventually find you. For the young Emmanuel, the moment of truth is approaching. Let 
different company. That's there it. you go. Awesome. That's good. it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Manuel. Let him come. Let him come and come. Look good. That's it. No, 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 too close. That's it. Let him come, let him come. There we go. Yes. <laughs> The match barely lasted two minutes. As Emmanuel defeated his opponent by way of a first round stoppage TKO. It works like a match. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Not even a full round. Yeah, that was the first. Huh? <laughs> Perception can sometimes work its way into reality. How you are viewed can come to shape who you are. But in a sport like boxing, when the bell sounds, all that matters is what truly lives inside you. Years from now, Emmanuel can look back and thank the hard work that was put in day in and day out. Like a freight train igniting its tunnel vision, Emmanuel pushes forward towards achieving his ultimate dream. His one goal, to stand on the Olympic stage representing Team Canada.